Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and in this video today I'm gonna talk about uh, two major things the first one being the new Talia uh, how can I say changes and the second one the Talia jungle archetype now this is not uh, this is not a ranked game this is a normal game because I don't really want to jump and talk about uh, these changes while I'm also working this jungle out I already I've already won a ranked game today with this but uh, for the purpose of the video I just want to talk about how it's supposed to go and general changes as well uh, I really hope the quality is decent of the video and let's see mainly what you want is to get a red buff topside crab and uh, blue buff as sap uh, as soon as possible you will have face you will face mana problems and uh, you need to fight the crab if it allows to fight for this crab here after going for the red buff this is my theory right now because um, if you don't fight for it you're just gonna lose some some minor pressure I'm gonna lose some HP here because Fiddlesticks is doing weird shit and some I'm some HP as well too much. Uh, practically, Talia jungler jungle got enabled because Q now it's it does not deal reduce damage to minions, and as we have bigger buffs, and uh, as we have buffs that uh, how can I say are a single target, and because of the passive changes that we can move faster now and more often, she kind of became uh, more jungle oriented. I don't have to use might here. This is great. Uh, also, the Q mana cost, the one mana cost means a lot because, uh, yeah, this was a mistake, should have got rid of it way faster because he would have reached me. Uh, the one mana cost on uh, Q also is also amazing, and we can see here uh, Kane, some tracking, and I should kite more, obviously, I have red buff. Uh, as you can see, I'm not fabulously experienced and I think starting W level 2 is also better because you can push it. I have standard runes by the way I have the normal Eerie uh, right and Celerity water walking the jungler thingy and I'm coming never mind I can I can kill him in his jungle uh, the secondary, I have uh, Relentless Hunter Nibal collection, and obviously, he didn't see me, did he? And also, I'm going to get this buff. I doubt anyone is gonna follow. Okay, she did follow. I'm done. Now uh, this is average, really average to Leah jungling. Obviously should have just worded big, but because I'm focused on talking, I kind of miss the bigger picture and I don't really focus that much on what's at hand. Right here I should position more properly, I should do a normal W and such, but right now we're interested just in showcasing as much as we can. Uh, why did you die to that fire again? Whatever. Uh, now, about the mid changes, we settled it. Ah, by the way, I forgot. The build that you're interested in is the normal AP item and then probably rely on some other mana item because you'll face problems if you don't have the blue buff on you 24-7. I'm going to get this last camp and then I'm gonna recall. The rotation is pretty shit. You gotta watch some professional games if you want the, the whole strategy thing. I'm not really uh, maining jungle so don't expect to have a great insight from me. This guy is dying again probably. Yeah, I could have killed him. Oh, he killed him as well. Uh, let's see. Here I'm interested in boots and the vision work. Uh, yeah, the changes for mid lane, I feel she's, uh, even after the hotfix buff that you probably heard of, uh, I don't really feel she's that amazing now, I kinda dislike it, 
Uh, I kind of hate the fact that we no longer have an AoE on Q. Why am I going? I'm gonna wear his topside jungle. I'm having this extra movement speed to pass along. And it's probably gone because he was here before. Okay. Ah, you're dead. And you are by. Okay. That's it. Obviously, in a ranked game, the situation would be a little different. I don't know why I thought. Did they swap? Was he a swap and they swapped? I'm, I'm a bit too much focused on this talking. Uh, but as you can see, uh, the clear times are pretty good and she's, she's pretty strong in most matchups uh, because you can use your W and uh, your uh, E and Q to poke and disengage when needed and I have Outside crab, you also have to follow the crabs and stick near walls all the time. This is your main target, main thingy to do. Uh, I think I am going for the crab right here. Excellent. We've probably been spotted somewhere. And the vision world is more of a defensive vision world. Because I'm coming, but please, 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 please don't die. Solving things. Okay, coming, coming. Okay, do it, do it. I'm gonna smite it, I'm not gonna pass it to Fiddle. Not, not gonna smite actually. And right now, I'm gonna get a kill on Vayne. As you can see, she's quite working. Don't. I need reset. Or I'm gonna come. Wait. I'm gonna come just and smite it. Just let me get rid of this. Okay. Or. And as you can see, the cues work really, really nice on her uh, because of the single target damage. Now that's not getting reduced by minions. Uh, I think, and also the one mana's uh, cues right here. Look what I mean. My mana stays the same. I think this. And the passive combined are some major factors that allows her to actually scale pretty nicely into mid game. And right now, jungle, I think it's all about nice, not nice. Right now, right now I think jungle is all about uh, early game and mid game. And she's an extremely strong champion, especially in early game, uh, with her Q, E, W, and such, and good odds, post six. And you're no longer having the need to always push a wave, which is the most important thing. They got that away from her. She will be hot fixed. Obviously, she probably will get some changes made. But I really dislike her at the current moment in the mid lane. And I don't know. There are better ways to change her. I'm thinking E. That's actually dealing damage to dashes. I'm thinking, yeah, I understand. Got her wave clear, but do not nerf her E. That was a stupid direction. That was a bad smite, also. Uh, but it doesn't matter. By the way, right now I'm Diamond 2. I will post some ranked games in the future. I'm thinking of some other videos. Uh, and also, you can notice the farm difference right here. It's pretty huge, and I didn't take any, any CS from. Uh, from a lane as far as I remember and I'm coming to go baby go
And did I fuck up? No, I didn't. It all did a bit. <laughs> Dashed. And it went pretty fine here as well. And he's spamming block. You dashed into my T. That's not luck. And right now going for the secondary item right here. Should have completed boots. Why are people so flaming in normal games? Jesus. And I got this guy here. Nice. Another sweet kill. I can showcase the game in ranks as well. But I'm afraid I will not hold up. Right now in ranks I can do decent Warwick and Odir, which are both strong early junglers with mid scaling and some engage power in late game with some items and some and such. Uh, but Tulia is different, okay? Okay, I missed that. And she will flash. Alright. And Katarina got just so down, that's great. She's recalling here, I could, I could just go. Look at the movement speed. Look at the movement speed that I'm talking about. This is amazing for a jungler main to have this kind of power to move gen like two seconds and that's all it takes two seconds and here they get two kills nice fiddlestick is playing really fine another crab another blue buff and if you want to try it go in an orgamer game until it's nerfed and see how how you can play with her and so Okay, coming. Never mind. We're gonna take this. And she he's not this was luck as well, wasn't it? Look at the damage when you're ahead. Look at this. It's bullshit. Obviously I'm probably against some lower elo players and uh, I don't think it's representative exactly of my real elo and here is okay congrats you killed me I am 9-0 by the way, this normal game is... I don't know, playing jungle against lower elo people it's too simple if you know some basic rotations and such. Obviously I failed early because of my stupid rotation, but if you track a bit their position and put a deep word. Uh, it's kinda simple to abuse. Obviously you're gonna lose some games in which your lanes lose if you don't gank perfectly sometimes early on and that's why I like to play it's like I like to play this champion and early game champions such as I said where we can such because you can impact the game uh, early on to get the crops to get the vision and to make a difference and I got another kill here And I'm not even buttering on reading the chat because it's probably, I don't know, I've seen some toxicity. I'm usually the toxic one in terms of discussion, not necessarily insults. And I'd rather not, especially when I'm making an informative video. Here's another crab, you gotta hunt this down every time they spawn, by the way. And with the movement speed, I have 4k gold, by the way, at this point. I have fucking 4k gold. And at this point you can just ward here and wait here. Uh, so hopefully it's not worded. 
and I can help you right here getting another kill and doing this okay and he's inside me that sounds so wrong and Katarina got Ooh. okay that's a bit harder to dodge now here I have the option to go for boots which I will because of the cooldown reduction that I miss and here I am uh, thinking that if you don't go for a mana item besides this you won't have enough mana regen and you need to spam skills so you're gonna need something that gives mana and I don't know, it's not stackable like Archangel stuff, and it not same passive, the Echo passive that this have. So the only option you have is GLP right here, or Road of Ages, but I don't know, I feel this one gives a lot more mana, so I'm gonna go for this. But obviously, if you feel you have enough mana, uh, this is practically a trash item right, right here, so I admit it, I just go for the mana. If you feel you have enough mana, and you make the most of your blue buffs and you get these drakes and plants and such and you know you can manage it. Third item is obviously some uh, some penetration such as uh, Morello or even, I don't know, third item Rabadon sounds pretty decent if you think about it. And I'm gonna reach this guy here. And he flashed. Do I need to help him? Will he die? Probably. And you can see the CS difference. I have 50 CS advantage just because of the decent... Just because he died a lot and I didn't and just because I spam farmed the camps. You can farm super easily everything. Uh, but yeah, this is mostly because I'm ahead. When I'm not ahead, the theory might change and it's easy to fall behind the Stelia jungle that's important to know you can see the builds on probes and such and yeah I think the game will be over soon I think having 12-1 uh, kinda explains some uh, I don't know kinda explains the fact that she can work if you put in some games and try to understand her. I've already seen on my Discord, join it by the way, on Tulia, um, on my Tulia mains Discord, uh, that some people already played it and they did fine with her, possibly players that just main Tulia and not jungle itself. So she is in a good spot for jungling, I can assure you. But the bad thing is that she will get uh, inevitably changed because that's just how things are and Riot doesn't really like uh, champions that move to other roles now she has no wave clear anymore that's relevant I'd say uh, so she moved to a place where you don't need wave clear and you can abuse her passive that uh, you so much like right now because it's pretty strong, uh, pretty strong passive by the way I would auto attack the next, but I really don't want to die again. Okay, I think we are safe. Pike is dead, so no stealthy. I'm gonna help you. Okay, never mind, I auto attacked. So, yeah, jungle is viable. I don't know why they type about it. <sighs> Let me just. Uh, I, before I finish this video, I want to talk a little more about some other stuff. Uh. Let me put this up. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let me just. It is liable, uh, but people don't watch pro players that much. Anyway, uh, I want to talk a bit about the changes they made. Right now, at the end of this video, I was secondary in damage, that's interesting. Uh, and 
I would put them up on the screen, but I think I pretty much know them by by uh, my small brain that I have sometimes, <laughs> especially in ranked games. It seems like I'm an ape or a monkey, an advanced one, pretty much. So they changed and they hot fixed. What changed first was Q W E R and passive everything. It seems they changed everything. So they changed the passive. Now you have more movement speed. You have it more often every two seconds instead of five. I don't even need to see them to know. You have more Qs right now. Your Q costs one mana, so you have more Qs not refunded anymore, but uh, just costs one. You have no AOE on Q, which I kind of dislike it because, let's face it, most people dislike this change because we are used to doing that nice poke in the champions that were nearby minions or nearby a tank. And we could still hit them. Now, if I W, Q, E, W, E, Q, someone, and the tank stays good, my damage won't do anything at all compared to before. I no longer have the instant triple kill pressure that I had before because uh, Q damage no longer deals AoE and W E is not enough, especially in that E does not deal that much damage to jumps or dashes either caused by my W or uh, any dashes or jumps and such. The ultimate change was done for pro play, the reduction on duration I was kind of, un I understand that they changed Azir 2 like that because it was too long and that was pro play as well. Uh, what I don't understand is why they don't try to push any direction by going for the E. I mean, if you get outplayed and you're stupid and dash like that, yes, so if you dash through something, you're supposed to get hurt and you're supposed to get damaged by it, not to see, uh, especially if you're not far ahead in damage and kills and such. You're, you want to see some damage on that E from through a dash. If you don't at least do half HP or more mid game to late game when someone dashes through all your E, then why is there even a spell? Why why that damage is still there if you're not going to buff it? And also W got changed, uh, reduced uh, cooldown. It's 12 seconds now, which is good, which is great. Uh, I like that change. And uh, Q now deals 100% damage. Uh, to minions and also deals uh, more damage to the first target if I recall correctly practically you deal more damage in a single Q with subsequent uh, pallets if I say it well maybe I'm wrong here but I don't know what I think about these changes is that the direction is pretty weird and the hotfix was decent her win rate is huge but I think it's mostly due to this stupid jungle thingy that will hurt her more because some other changes will come and people will be again disappointed and if you look at Aran Sol's win rate he's still up in win rate and such and I do not believe a huge win rate for Talia uh, especially if you get rid of the jungle I don't think she will have that huge win rate and such and I don't really see it how against someone with equal skill uh, you can win easily lane and such because uh, without AoE Q, it's super simple to actually dodge it. Yeah, it's mm, super counterable and the W is even more easy to dodge. You just have to buy boots and start to walk around. It's, uh, how can I say, it's way simpler to dodge a W than to dodge a Xerath Q or Ziggs Q. I can hit them way more consistently and I have some experience on this champion, you know that. And also... Right now I'm in Diamond 2, so I don't think I'm that bad with her. Um, and people are pretty decent in dodging them. Uh, and I don't see why would you got Q and Wave Clear when you're supposed, for this champion, you're supposed to push your lane and go bot or top. As you are with Vladimir with Predator, as you are with Twisted Fate, just W, A, O, V, lane, and then just press through and you're instantly bot. What... Why would these changes make me want to play Talia more when I could simply go for Aurelian Soul or Twisted Fate and push the lane way simpler, roam way easier and, I don't know, have everything on the table way better than she is right now. Even Cassidy with Teleport roams better than Talia right now, I'd say. 
uh, that's far-hatched, but against Talia he will win every time because how the matchup goes, it's pretty unfavorable matchup for Talia. Well, Cassidy is a bad spot, it's a bad example. But still, if we take some examples, you get destroyed by Cassidy, you get destroyed by any assassins on mid, you get destroyed by Vladimir if he's good, and you can get destroyed as well by other roamers because our own soul will push lane and roam and you can do nothing about it right now. Unless you fight him, and if you fight him, he'll probably be stronger. And Twisted Fate, eh, Twisted Fate is a decent matchup to chase around the map, but he will sh probably roam faster than you if he's smart about it. I mean, he can reach a point faster. You can push faster right now, probably, than Twisted Fate, but he can reach bot lane faster than you. And I'd say, again, a good Twisted Fate will probably beat you, because he has a targeted stun. And uh, level 2 ganks, level 3 ganks are super simple if you just are in the middle of the lane and he flashes W stun you and that's it that's it you just you know uh, all in all I want to see how the statistics keep on growing changing what nerfs will they do to this Talia jungle because it will not remain in this state it's not normal for pro players to actually play this in ranked games and consistently win with it in jungle and I want to see some statistics some good unchanged uh, after hotfix statistics that I assume it's at somewhere between 48 or 52 I don't think for the mid lane she's got it she's overpowered and such because honestly no AWQ how how is she stronger I don't I don't get it this thing but I might get it in the near future I don't know I will see and if I change my point and ideas I will let you know uh, this is it for now. I'm gonna showcase some ranked games I played as much as I could to climb, and I insist on and I want to do it more. I'm still having a lot of trouble, a lot of work to do, not trouble. Uh, not on, I don't have time only for this, and <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. And I will make some more videos in ranked. I wanted to reach a higher elo to present higher quality videos in terms of skill and in terms of opponents. And I'd say I'm pretty good right now in, in terms of what division I got. And I want, to, not pretty good as I praise myself uh, in terms of, lol, look at me how good I am, but uh, in the quality of the games I can present. Because you're not going to like it when you see Platinum 2 or 3 in Diamond 5 game, you'd, but you're going to probably agree that it's better to have games against Masters and Challengers, which I already had. Uh, in a division like Diamond 2 or Diamond 1, if I reach it, and or above, if again, I reach it. So I'm gonna focus on playing a bit more, I'm gonna focus on trying to climb, and I'm gonna try to play her from time to time, I don't, I didn't play her that much, because I simply found out that I could, that I could climb easier with other champions, uh, and, you know, so, I'm gonna watch her closely, how she will do, and if she's in a good spot, I will definitely announce you, announce you too. And if she's not, well, we can't do that much about it unless we have to talk, we have to voice out the concerns we have or ready to liamains and such on League of Legends. And uh, we might get some changes that we are happy with. Uh, that's all about it for now. My voice is destroyed, and <laughs> uh, but I really enjoyed this. Truth be told, I haven't played much jungle with her, but it was pretty good. Have a nice day or night whenever you're watching this video, and see you next time, guys. Goodbye.